Hello everyone. This is the pre-market report video for today, 19th December 2023 for the Indian stock market in terms of Nifty and Mac Nifty. On last Friday, New York Fed president in his interview with CNBC, he said that it's too early to talk anything about interest rate cut. Hence, during the weekend, that statement and increased US service sector activity made the global momentum slightly negative, which in turn to some extent yesterday affected most of the global stock market such as China, Japan, India and major European countries except UK Fitse. However, last night that negativity was not transferred into the US market. I mean, before their market opening, Goldman Sachs, second largest investment bank in the world, upgraded their S&P 500 2024 target to 5100 points, which is another near 10% up from the present level. This is the first positive. In addition, second, we know at present US market priced US index on the expectation of three times interest rate cut in next year 2024. However, for that, Bank of America released the statement they expect Fed to do at least four interest rate cut next year. So obviously, this supported the US market on the positive side. Finally, for now, the very important macro for whole global momentum is PCE inflation for November month, which is scheduled to release on coming Friday. And for that, last night, analysts predicted there won't be any inflation increase at all. I mean, for November month, PCE inflation on monthly basis expects to be 0% increase and yearly basis for the first time in the last 30 odd months expect to come less than 3%. Again, this low inflation prediction also added the positivity in US market. Just summarizing, Goldman Sachs S&P 500 price 10% upgrade, Bank of America's report about 4 times interest rate cut and analyzed very low estimation of PC inflation. All these three revived the positive global momentum and made the US market positive. On the negative side, it's just some stock specific influence on Apple, Southwest Airlines, etc. For Apple, as per Bloomberg report, more Chinese government agency banned the use of iPhone in their workplace and also Apple stopped the sales of iWatch Series 9 due to code trolling regarding the pattern issue. Both of them made Apple stock to down over 1%. Other than that, last night, US market continued their 7 consecutive week rally. In the end, Dow Jones closed at absolute flat. However, S&P 500 up by 0.45% and Nasdaq up by 0.61%. In case of VIX, it increased to 2% and moved above 125 from below 125 Regarding Indian ADR, despite all four stocks in Indian market closed in negative, most of the ADR closed positive. Only ICIC Bank ended flat to negative. Then for HDFC Bank, it added more and holds its arbitrage difference 2 to 3 percent. In case of IT, both Infosys and Wipro, as it is, last night added another 0.5 percent positive. However, if we calculate the arbitrage, then it moves down as flat to positive. So overall from ADR, the takeaway is both banks and IT sector seems to be flat to positive. About Gift Nifty, early morning it closed at 21,470. Finally, yesterday premium dropped to some sense level, just 50. Hence, for now, equating that to the spot, indicating the flat opening. Then, regarding oil, there was some conflict in Red Sea, which in turn disrupted the ship movements. As a result, it increased near 2%. At the time of this video, Brent crude is trading around 78 US dollars per barrel and WTI crude is trading just below 73 US dollars per barrel. So those were the things happened yesterday and last night in the global market. Now let's look at the India specific information. First about Reliance, there are two news happened yesterday which can influence the price. So I will tell everything as I am not sure which is more influential. On the positive side, last night Indian government decreased the windfall tax massively on crude oil from 5000 rupees per ton to 1300 rupees per ton. And also on the export side, the tax on diesel has been decreased from rupee 1 per litre to rupee 0.5 per liter. Here, as we know, Reliance is the largest crude oil product and diesel exporting company in India. So for sure, it's positive for them. However, on the negative side, in the parliament yesterday, 
Indian government proposed the telecom bill to give satellite internet airways license for Starlink without any auctions. Here, this bill is not yet passed in the parliament, but it's positive for satellite internet providers such as Elon Musk Starlink, Amazon's Cooper, even Airtel's OneWeb will be the beneficiaries. And the only setback party here is just Reliance Geo. Thus, they expressed their disagreement with the government and recommended the auction approach similar to 5G spectrum distribution. The problem is that satellite service providers can able to offer complete voice and data services as well. So clearly, this is a huge setback for Jio. Again here, I am not sure which will influence the price today, windfall tax profitability or this Jio setback. Let's see. Second, HDFC Bank yesterday managed to raise 7,500 crore rupees for its maiden 10 year infrastructure bond at the coupon rate of 7.71%. Here, they intend to raise 10,000 crore rupees, but they received 75 bids only worth of 8,700 crore rupees. In that, they agreed and approved for 7,500 crore rupees. In addition, yesterday RBA released the Green Deposit Framework, so we can expect banks to react for both the events. Third, Fitch Rating Agency released the report about steel consumption that its demand expect to recover in 2024, whereas the demand drop in China will be compensated by Europe's demand increase. Here we can say this is positive for steel stocks, especially the iron ore mining ones, as it expects to increase the steel price. Finally, about institution, after 6 days of continuous buying, FIA turned as net sellers, but the net sold only for 34 crore rupees, whereas DIA net bought for 410 crore rupees. As a summary, global momentum and US market looking good. However, GIF Nifty, Indian ADR and even Reliance GDR all indicating flat opening. Just for info, at present, US future market is trading marginally negative. Moving on, yesterday as per stock open interest, Metropolis Healthcare, Balkrishna Industries, PFC, ITC, Power Grid, Godrej and Tata Communications got an increase in open interest along with a negative close indicates the short build up. On the other hand, IRCTC, Exide Industries, Lupin, Abbott India, Gujarat Gas and Mahanagar Gas got an increase in open interest with a positive price close indicating the long build up. About the things to look out, early morning before our market opening at 8.30 am, today Bank of Japan's interest rate decision. Then at 12 pm, following press conference is scheduled, thus the global market is kind of waiting for what Japanese central bank might say about their future guidance, which in turn for sure will influence the US future market, so does the Indian market. Then in the aftermarket hours around 3.30 pm, whole Europe's consumer inflation data is due. And for US market in the night, their new building permit for November month and weekly crude oil stocks are some of the items we need to keep an eye out today. Coming to technical, Nifty opened 20 points gap down and closed negative, thus it snapped the 3 days continuous positive run. Thus on the daily chart it formed bearish harami pattern with a very weak volume and also between this two candle we can say it's a inside bar doji kind of pattern formation as well. If we consider bearish harami pattern then possibly it's a bad signal. However, because of this weak volume, I am guessing inside bar is the most optimum one since that itself an indication of reduced volatility and also yesterday Nifty managed to hold above 21,400 for most of the session despite some profit booking. Hence, the previous Friday candle low 21,235 is the downside breakout support whereas on the upside breakout resistance it's 21,492. And for the short term, as long as the index holds above 21,200, the upward move towards 21,500 to 21,600 is possible. Then in case of Bank Nifty, it opened 75 points gap down and closed below 48,000. Thus on the daily chart, it also formed a bearish candlestick. However, similar to Nifty, it also managed to remain within the Friday's trading range. So the resistance around 48,000 level looks stronger and the immediate support is at 47,800. A breach below 47,800 could intensify the selling pressure which in turn will push the bank nifty down towards 47,400 to 47,000 range. 
regarding weekly options data the maximum call option open interest was at 21500 strike followed by 22000 and 21600 with meaningful new call option writing at 21500 and then 21600 strike Thus, from the options data, the near-term resistance is expected to be at 21,500 to 21,600. Whereas, on the put front, the maximum open interest was at 21,300 strike, followed by 21,200 and 21,400, with new put option writing at 21,400 strike, then 20,500. Hence, the immediate support area is around 21,300 to 21,200. So, that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investigation based on this as I am not a SEBI registered advisor. I am doing this for my and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.